Should you use for or since? This is a really important topic and it's one that I see students making mistakes with a lot. So in this lesson, you're going to learn exactly when to use for or since. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. When should you use for or since? Now, there's a specific time that you need to choose either for or since. They're not interchangeable and it will make your sentence grammatically incorrect if you're using the wrong one. So first, let's talk about for. We use for for duration, okay? So you can think of it as a time that has a start and an end, a duration of time. For example, for 20 minutes, for three weeks, for seven months, or how about for 12 years? Now we use since with a specific time. So you can think of it as a precise moment in time. For example, 9 a.m. last Monday, June 3rd, 2014. So that's the first thing you need to know to use these correctly. For is a duration of time and since is a specific time. Now let's talk about the verb tenses that you need for each. So here's a little quiz for you. I'm going to show you some sentences using for in different verb tenses. And I want you to tell me which ones are correct and which ones are incorrect. And keep in mind, we're talking about the verb tense specifically. So that's what you need to look at. So I'll show you the example sentences now. Hmm, so which ones are correct and which ones are incorrect? Let us know in the comments. Well, I hate to break it to you, but this was a trick question because they're all correct. And the point is that for can be used with many different verb tenses. It's quite diverse in that way. Now, let's do the same thing, but this time we'll do it with since. So again, the time references are all correct. I'm using them all with specific time, but let's take a look at the verb tenses. So I'll show you the sentences and I want you to let us know which ones are correct and incorrect. So how'd you do with this one? How about in the comments, let us know which ones are correct, okay? Put it in the comments. Now this one wasn't a trick question because since is a lot more limited. So here are example sentences. The only correct ones were number one and number three. You can use since with the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. The reason why is because since we use this for an action that started in the past but continues until now and we actually don't know when that action is going to end. But it's important, it started in the past, continues till now and is still in progress. That's when we can use since. All right, so now you know that for is used for a duration of time and it's very diverse. You can use it with many different verb tenses. 
you know that since we need a specific time and you can use it with the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. Now let me show you a sentence that I see almost every day and it's wrong. And the sentence is, I've been learning English since two years. All right, this sentence is wrong. Now, I want you to take this sentence and make it a correct sentence. You're going to need to change either the for or since or the time reference, okay? So make your change and put the correct sentence in the comments below. And also, I want you to practice your own sentence. So leave a comment and use a sentence with for and a sentence with sense. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, awesome job. Now you know how to use for and since and you'll correct this common mistake that I see every day. Make sure you leave your examples in the comments. Can't wait to read them and can't wait to see you next time. Bye.